So when a medical assistant comes in for a day of work, there's a lot to do before the patients actually arrive. A medical assistant, when they first get started and are new to the job, may arrive even an hour before the patients get here or more if necessary. So I'm going to check the schedule. I'll come on to my computer and bring up the schedule and start running through the people who are coming in. The schedule will include a brief description of why they're going to be seen today. Uh, based on their reason for coming, I will start to print out the necessary forms and collect other necessary forms for their visit. That can include uh, lab slips, uh, pathology slips, uh, immunization reports, their medication lists, and then any other forms that I might need to gather information such as the well adult exam forms or the patient personal history forms. Some other forms that you might get ready for the patient would be if they might need an ultrasound, a, um, any kind of vascular ultrasound that might need to be done, uh, if they may be due for a mammogram or are due for bone density analysis, we would also get those forms prepared. If a patient has an injury that might need x-ray, we would also start getting those forms prepared, anticipating that the physician or practitioner may request them. A big part of a medical assistant's job is to get to know their practitioner so well that before they ask for an instrument or a brochure or a handout of any kind, they already know that the practitioner needs it. So anticipating your practitioner's need is very important. Another part of the medical assistant's job when they first come in to start a day is to come in and get their rooms all ready to go. So after you know who's coming in, now you know what kinds of instruments and um, supplies that you're going to need. So we'll turn on the lights, we'll get our computer turned on, and then we'll start going through all the drawers. So we'll be making sure that nothing's out of place and we have everything that we need for the day. Um, you can bring a notepad if that helps to uh, make note of the things you need to go collect from your utility room to refill your supply. So some of the forms that we'll be collecting to get ready for our patients are actually located in the room. But now, uh, with medical electronic records, a lot of these forms are located on the computer. The exam table is where many of our instruments are located and some other supplies. We'll want to make sure we have all the instruments that we need. We also will want, will want to make sure that we have enough gowns for the day, various kinds of drapes, and other kinds of padding if we have babies coming in, such as diapers and baby wipes. We'll also check to make sure that we have enough um, exam room table paper. We may also make sure that we have everything kind of set up and ready to go like we like it. Our blood pressure cuffs folded and easily obtainable. Other tools are available and are ready to go. We may be having patients come in that have wounds that need to be treated, so we also need to make sure that we have our supplies on hand to treat that as well. So I'm going to take you on a tour of our laboratory. This is another place we may also visit at the beginning of the day to make sure that we have all the supplies that we need and everything's ready to go for the day. Some of the things we may need is we may be doing vaccinations. So if that's the case, we'll want to make sure that we have all the vaccinations that we need for the patients that are scheduled. Um, we may get some of our supplies ready, but if you take a look here, you'll notice that vaccines and some other medications must be kept under refrigeration. So that means that they're going to remain in there until we actually use them. Here are the elements of your average injection station. We'll want to make sure that everything's ready to go for the day and all of our supplies are filled. Some of the supplies that we'll want to make sure that we have on hand our vaccine schedules, 
and we may want to refer to our protocols regarding vaccines. Make sure that we're following standard procedure. During the day, we may also have people who require in-house labs to be done with a urine analysis. We would collect the urine from the restroom and then be able to do the testing here at our in-house lab station. And we have um, instruments on hand to read the urine, uh, to print out urine analysis forms. Some other labs that we can perform is venipuncture or other phlebotomy. So we also have that station set up here. Um, so another thing we may do is make sure that we have all the supplies ready for that as well for blood collection.